So I end up going into my loft and I just, I start going in and I felt like I was about seven, five walking through the house praying at that time. But um, not only was I starting to deal with, start to deal more with uh, spiritual activity, spiritual warfare, demonic attacks started to increase, but then my children also started to deal with it as well. What's going on everybody, Kerber Love back again with another video. Today, um, I just wanna talk about sleep paralysis, the witch riding your back, demonic attack. Uh, how, to me, it's all the same, but I just say all three because some people call them different things. For me, I feel like sleep paralysis is a demonic attack. Um, and as a kid, we would call it the witch riding your back. Now, I want to backtrack a little bit before I get into what happened about a week and a half ago. When I was about seven, eight, or nine years old, I was at church on a Sunday with my mom and everybody. And after the service was over, I remember going to the pastor. It just, nobody asked me to do it. Nobody like said, hey, you want to be baptized or anything like that. I don't even remember them having a um, usually... Uh, the, Baptist, the old Baptist church would say we call, have an altar call and if you come up and everybody, you know, all this other kind of stuff. It wasn't none of that. It was just the inner service and I was just had this feeling like, man, I want to get baptized. And I walked up to him. I said, hey, I want to get baptized. And everybody was walking out, going to the back of the kitchen to get the chicken boxes. And he stopped everybody and said, hey, this young man right here, he want to get baptized. We're going to do it. Uh, I think it was like a Wednesday or Thursday, whatever Bible study night was on. I said, like, we're going to do it um, at 7 p.m. So it was like, okay, everybody celebrated. Boom, fast forward. Go to the baptism. Had my little white gown on and all that stuff get baptized, come out the water, and I go to the back of the church to change clothes. When I go to the back of the church to change clothes, and I've only told this story like four or five times. I go to the back of the church to change clothes, and as I'm looking out the window, mind you, it's nighttime. I look out the window and I see these three look like shadows, but I know they were evil spirits. Kids know something that is evil, that is scary, that is wrong. And I knew it was something that wasn't right, that was evil. So I look out and I see these three shadows run outside the window on the ground. And I take off. I was about pretty much dressed and my shirt, I had a button down shirt on. And it was all buttoned up wrong, man. I shot out, sat in the pews with my mom, and I'm just sitting there, just literally just like this i wasn't saying nothing i didn't look to the left i didn't look to the right and i remember a lady tapping my mom and she was like she's like hey his his shirt <laughs> you know she was telling me to fix telling her to fix my shirt but i didn't even know that my shirt was not buttoned up right because i was that scared i just threw it together and i shot out the uh room i say all that to say after that that's when i started experiencing sleep paralysis and when me and my cousins would talk, we would usually just say the witch riding your back. You know, we used to not think of it as like something demonic or whatever like that. We just knew it was something dark. We knew it was something that wasn't right or we couldn't move or talk while we were asleep. And we didn't think nothing of it. We, we wasn't taught about it. So I say that just to kind of mention when it first started happening. And I want to fast forward to years later which is 2015 when I really, really uh, began to get sold out for God. And I'm talking about sold out, sold out, and I'm still sold out today. But this is when it came back. And I want to say, and I'm mentioning these things in different phases because usually they would say, well, you got to sleep in this order or uh, you, have, you have some type of mental thing or whatever 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 there's a list of stuff that usually will just uh, uh, associate it with something that's medically wrong and some some things does have to do with medical or mental issues or whatever i'm not neglecting that but this particular thing i don't feel like there's a medical or mental issue because i didn't i never had the problem before i got baptized as a kid i didn't have 
the problem again until 2015 when I started living for God. And when I was when I say I was sold out to the point where everything I did all day, every day, studying the word, writing scripture, referencing everything. And I told that story before, but that's when I started having sleep paralysis, demonic attack, which riding your back. That's when I started having that problem again in 2015. And it got to the point where, and I mentioned this in another video, if you go back in my YouTube um, history, you'll see I had a video that said I was attacked by demons every day. And this is what I was talking about. It was basically sleep paralysis. Um, and there were some other things that was going on as well. But I was dealing with this sleep paralysis literally for like a week and a half straight. Every time I went to sleep, I would feel something jump on me. I couldn't move. And it would be nighttime. It would be daytime. It could be the middle of the day, early in the morning. It didn't even matter. Every time I would begin to study my word and start to read, I would get sleepy. I would get tired. And as I get tired, I was like, man, and sometimes I feel like I couldn't break it. I was like, man, I know I'm finna go to sleep. I just feel this heaviness like I'm so tired. And I would like literally doze off for like a quick second. And instantly would I doze off, boom, that's when it would happen. Something would jump on me, couldn't see anything, couldn't move, couldn't talk, couldn't do anything. I'm just pleading the blood of Jesus, pleading the blood of Jesus. That's doing it, boom, then releases. And I'm like, man, this is, this is, <laughs> you know, it got frustrating. It happened so much though that I knew... I was sleeping. I knew everything that was going on. Like I could literally almost see myself in real time trying to move where I could see my mouth going all the way to the right because I'm trying to move and I couldn't do it. It, was just, it just got so bad. Then after that warfare happened for a little while, it all went away. It stopped. It didn't come back again until about a week and a half ago. When I started releasing videos about zodiac signs and horoscopes and psychics, don't give demons access. When I start releasing those videos, that's when the sleep paralysis, demonic attack happened again. About a week and a half ago, I ended up waking up around three or four o'clock in the morning. And mind you, this is after I've been releasing a lot of exposing the dark side or just really just trying to bring understanding for those who don't know about spiritual warfare, those who don't know about zodiac signs and all this other kind of stuff that I was talking about, you can go back and watch the history. So as I got up, I said, well, let me just watch a teaching on YouTube, pulled up a teaching on YouTube, just sitting there watching it on my phone. And then probably after about 20 minutes or so, um, I started getting sleepy again. And I ended up dozing off. And when I dozed off, I could still hear the teaching playing. I said, well, let me just turn it off and then I'll watch it again, you know, finish watching it when I get up or some other time. As I close my phone out, uh, the app out to cut, turn the teaching off, I end up dozing on back to sleep. And it's like, as soon as I fell into sleep, the scenery of my room changed. It's like I was asleep, but how my room looked, it changed like scenes or whatever the case is. And I've seen this kid sitting on the floor and then out of nowhere, it was like a duplicate of this child sitting on the floor and the child that was sitting on the floor had his back turned to me so then it was like a duplicate got up and started walking towards the wall or something like that but then it stopped and as it stopped it turned around when it turned around before i could like see its face or anything like that it just went black it's like something big black just happened and i could see nothing but pitch black and that's when the attack happened. I went from being able to see everything that was kind of going on to when the child turned around, everything went black. And then that was this weight where I couldn't move, couldn't say anything. And then I began to plead the blood of Jesus. Now, after about a minute or two, um, it was all over with. And then I got up and I said, okay, I know what this is. Let me get up. And I'm, I'm about to go into prayer. So I ended up going into my loft and I just, I started going in. And I felt like I was about seven, five, walking through the house praying at that time. But um, not only was I starting to deal with, start to deal more with uh, spiritual activity, spiritual warfare, demonic attacks started to increase. But then my children also 
started to deal with it as well. But it was, it was as expected because of the videos and stuff that I was releasing. I just wanted to talk about this because I know people deal with these things. And like I said, I feel like it's demonic. All three of the instances where I've had it, it was all tied to me doing something related to God. Just to help some people out, I wanted to make this video and I also had a viewer who asked about what is the witch right in your back. So I wanted to expound on that a little bit more. We'll get into prayer for anyone who's been dealing with sleep paralysis or these demonic attacks, or as we would say as a kid, the witch right in your back. Because all of that, all that is, is you being tormented while you're trying to rest. If you have attached yourself to something or if you're dabbling into some new age stuff or into some zodiac signs and witchcraft and horoscopes and all these different things, then again, I talked about don't give demons access, then you're giving um, permission for some of these things to happen, these demonic dreams, the sleep paralysis and stuff like that. Now, in some cases, it's not always that you're giving them permission, like in, in the case of me within a week and a half ago, and when I first got saved, it wasn't so much of me dabbling into those things as much as it was me living out the will of God. So there are going to be attacks and things that you have to go through and endure as well, just as a believer. So those things are going to happen, but we have to be aware and know what's of God, what's not of God, what God allows you know, all these different things. So that way, when certain things happen, we don't just blame God, but we understand that there's a spiritual side to a demonic side to everything. And the Bible talks, talks about this in Ephesians six. So we'll say a prayer for everyone who's been dealing with sleep paralysis, who've been tormented. Just lift your hands right where you are. Heavenly father, we come to you in Jesus name. We thank you for who you are. We thank you for your greatness. God, we thank you for all that you have done and all that you continue to do. God, we thank you for being God. We thank you for being the head and not the tail in the name of Jesus. God, I pray over every person who's tuning in right now, who's watching this video, who's dealing with sleep paralysis, God, who's dealing with these demonic attacks in the name of Jesus. God, I declare and decree that they will no longer be tormented in the night, that they will no longer be tormented in the day or any time that they're trying to rest, Father, for you have given us a gift to rest in the name of Jesus, God. So I pray as, as we rest, as we lay our heads, God, at any time that you send your angels, God, to stand camp around us, to war on our behalf in the name of Jesus, God, so that we may rest, so that we may have the peace that Jesus Christ came for us to have in Jesus' name. So God, we just thank you right now for hearing this prayer. We thank you for answering in this prayer in the name of Jesus, God. So we just bless you for who you are, for all that you continue to do in our lives. In Jesus name we pray. Amen. 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 Grace and peace. Peace and blessings. See you guys in the next one.